watching Just the News. I'm Amita Balachandra. We have a lot to get through today, so let's get started. India's retail inflation has stirred, surged to an eight-year high at 7.79% in April. In March, it stood at 6.95%. Now, this is what economists were saying before, that that number is likely to be above 7%. It's at 7.79% now. Now, the consumer price-based inflation figure stayed well above the Reserve Bank of India's upper tolerance limit for a fourth consecutive month. Now, RBI has been mandated by the centre to keep the retail inflation between 2 and 6%, but right now it's at 7.79%. Now, this elevated price outlook, in fact, pushed the RBI to hike its repo rate for the first time uh, in uh, four years since August 2018, lifting it by 40 basis points to 4.4% in an off-cycle meeting earlier this month. Now, to really understand what's really going on, why uh, did the RBI hike repo, uh, hike repo rate and why is this inflation figure at this number and what it really means, we've done an explainer and it's on our channel. Do take a look at it and let us know what else you would like to uh, watch and uh, for us to do an explainer on as well. In the meantime, the rupee hit an all-time low of 77.63 rupees against the US dollar today. The rupee fell to a record low for the second time this week. Now, according to Money Control, the day is closing. The rupee ended 19 paise lower at 77.42 per dollar. In comparison to the previous day's closing figure, 77.23 rupees. Now, according to experts, the decline was due to a slump in the foreign markets. Moving on from this story right now to heat wave situation in the country. Amid this heat wave, the Education Ministry has now asked schools to relax uniform norms and modify timings. Now, the ministry also said that outdoor activities should be restricted. ORS and glucose sachets must be stocked in schools. And this is amongst uh, other uh, guidelines that uh, the Education Ministry has also put out. They've also suggested that school hours should get over before noon. Now, the IMD had uh, predicted a fresh heat wave in the northwest and central India between the 12th of May to the 15th of May. Meanwhile, in Karnataka, the uh, Karnataka cabinet has passed the controversial anti conversion bill through an ordinance or executive order. Now, the Protection of Right to Freedom of Religion ordinance was approved by the cabinet earlier today. According to ANI, Karnataka Home Minister has said, and I quote, Cabinet has approved the anti conversion bill. It will be tabled in the next session. Till then, ordinance will be in place, end quote. Now, the draft bill, Karnataka Protection of Right to Freedom of Religion Bill 2021, seeks to prohibit conversion from one religion to another by means that it lists as fraudulent. Now, the Legislative Assembly had passed the legislation in December 2021 during the winter session of the State Assembly. Now, the bill was criticized heavily by the opposition. Similar laws have been introduced in Uttar Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh and Himachal Pradesh as well. In the meantime, in Delhi, clashes broke out during protests against the South Delhi Municipal Corporation demolition drive that took place today in Amar Colony, east of Kailash and other adjoining areas. Now, AAP MLA Amanatullah Khan was detained as she was protesting against the drive. A dozen others were also uh, detained. According to a report by the Hindu, minor stone pelting took place between locals and police forces after the police lati charged the former, during which vehicles were also damaged. Now, there was uh, there were similar demolition drives earlier, uh, for instance, in Shahimbagh, among other places as well. Meanwhile, the Indian Medical Association has written to the Union Health Minister Mansuk Mandavia on Wednesday and urged him to postpone the national eligibility come entrance test for postgraduate, which is NEET uh, PG 2022. The exam is scheduled on the 21st of May. Now, here's the rationale. In the letter, the IMA has highlighted that the gap between NEET PG exam and the counselling is very less uh, to prepare uh, for such an entrance exam. Now, the NEET PG 2021 exam was conducted five months after the scheduled uh, date, so there was a delay there. And the counselling process was started in January again after a delay. Meanwhile, the Election Commission of India has announced that the elections to 57 Rajya Sabha seats spread across 15 states 
will take place on the 10th of June. Now, the seats will be vacant during the uh, due to the retirement of uh, members on different dates between June and August. While 11 seats are falling vacant in Uttar Pradesh, six members each are retiring from Tamil Nadu and Maharashtra, five from Bihar and four each from Andhra Pradesh, Rajasthan and Karnataka. Meanwhile, Union uh, Health Minister Mansuk Mandavia has announced today that Indians travelling abroad will be allowed to take the precautionary dose of the COVID vaccine as per the travel guidelines of the destination country. And that's exactly what the tweet says. Since April 10th, all adults in India have been allowed to take the precautionary shot, a third dose of the coronavirus vaccine. However, till now, only those who took their second dose nine months uh, ago were eligible for that third shot. Now, Mandavia in a tweet has said that this new facility for international travellers will be available on the Coven app soon. Moving on to business news right now, Tata Sons has appointed uh, Campbell Wilson as the new CEO and MD of Air India. Now, the 50-year-old New Zealand-born executive recently resigned as the CEO of Singapore Airlines budget carrier Scoot. Now, Mr. Wilson has 26 years of aviation industry expertise across both full-service and low-cost airlines. Meanwhile, an update on the NSE co-location case. A Delhi court has rejected the bail plea of NSE's uh, former managing director, Chitra Ramakrishna, and former group operating officer, Anand Subramanian, in a 2018 case of stock market manipulation. Now, the Central Bureau of Investigation has opposed their bail, claiming that they were involved in a serious offence affecting the integrity of the financial system. Now, Chitra Ramakrishna allegedly shared confidential information about the stock market with a Himalayan yogi. Moving on to environment news. Now, according to a report by UN, the frequency and duration of droughts will continue to increase due to human-based climate change, with water scarcity already affecting billions of people across the world. Now, uh, although no region is spared from drought, the report noted that Africa is the hardest hit continent with uh, America, India and Australia also uh, highlighted as areas of particular concern and future concern as well. Moving on to uh, international news right now, starting off with North Korea. North Korea has officially confirmed its first COVID outbreak today and ordered a nationwide lockdown. Now, According to state media KCNA, the people in the capital uh, contracted the Omicron variant. However, the exact number of cases were not disclosed. And this is according to a report by Reuters. Meanwhile, big news coming in from Sri Lanka. UNP leader Ranil Vikramasinghe, who has just one seat in the 225-member parliament, took oath as the Prime Minister of Sri Lanka today after holding a closed-door discussion with President Gotabaya Rajpaksha last evening. Now, this comes after the resignation of Mahinda Rajapaksa on Monday. Just yesterday in a speech, uh, Gotabaya Rajapaksa had said that within one week there will be a new cabinet. Now, there's a new prime minister. Underlining the SJB uh, is the largest opposition party in the country of Sri Lanka. Sri Lankan's opposite, uh, opposition leader, Mr. Sajid Premadasa, on Thursday has said that his party will devise a strategy if this were to happen. Now, a Sri Lankan court uh, on Thursday issued a travel ban on erstwhile Prime Minister Mahinda uh, Rajapaksa, his son and 15 other allies as well. Now, uh, the opposition, however, so far has said that uh, the, the political uncertainty in Sri Lanka is set to continue. Uh, we, I spoke to SJB's um, Mr. Eran Vikramaratne on this political turmoil and what it means for Sri Lanka over the next couple of days. Do take a look at that uh, discussion on this channel as well. One piece of good news before we uh, wrap things up here on this bulletin. This comes in from Mumbai, the world's largest elevator which can accommodate over 200 people was made operational at Geo Convention Center in Bandra Kurla complex. Now it was started yesterday to mark the National Technology Day. That brings us to the end of this bulletin. Thank you so much for watching. Good night.